Is this thing on? Hello everybody and welcome back to Feed the Beast Infinity of Old Expert Mode with Techno Jock. We pick up pretty much where we let off, left off last episode. We are just getting the things that we need to be able to convert our pulverizer from a basic to a resonant. It's a big step up. But it is what we require. Now we need four invar. I need some inventory space, that's what I need. Let's get rid of that and that for a start. Um, actually, that doesn't go in there. That goes in there. Um, and we should be good to go. Right, cool. Let's get rid of that. So, four invar and four silver. And what was the other thing? Oh, we've got the, we've got that. Right. So let's have a look at this. We can go Electrum Gear with Invar, like that. Then it's a Signalum Gear with the Hardened Glass. And then it's a Enderium Gear with Silver. So we can go Basic goes to Hardened, goes to Reinforced, goes to Resonant. How's about that? Right, let's toddle over here. Put it back down. Let's go. We can configure it. Don't need that anymore. And we can go that, that, and that. We can put one of our redstone controls back into it as well. Since uh, we now have space for that, we can put our power thing back onto the top. That'll go to there. That'll go to there. And I think that one went down the way as well. So that's everything now powered again the way it should be. Now we should be able to properly get shiny. And I really hope that we get at least one. Hopefully, two, oh, come on. This is not fair. I've got all these in here now. This should be giving us an 81% chance. Nothing? Absolutely nothing. I think that's hugely unfair. Well, I guess I'm on the lookout for more ferrous metal, which is pretty rare. Okay. How about we um, instead head over to what will be our new base and see what the turtle has managed to do in our absence. Oh, wow. Well, it's been a busy bee, and it's back up there. What's it doing at the moment? It's sitting waiting for us to do something. It's maybe out of fuel, or... Yeah, it must be out of fuel. Yep. Waiting for fuel. So this is an ideal opportunity to show exactly what we need to do. Let's grab this bucket. We'll grab two. And we'll head over to this lava pool. Very pleased with this. It's not done a huge amount, but it's not really been that long. Um, there we go. Um, and you'll see at the top right how um, there is an alert that we've moved into an area which has been claimed by me. That's how I'm using this. I'll show you in a second. There we go. Resuming mining. There we go. Off it goes back down to where it left off so it remembers exactly where it was it doesn't need to start again and off it goes so it's obviously down now to um, the stone layer basically it's just pretty much gone past the sandstone layer and um, yeah it's doing doing good stuff excellent very pleased um yes yeah, so to claim chunks we've got this here i can go to any one of these chunks and start claiming and then if I, uh, you can left click to claim, right click to unclaim, and then if you shift, is it? Ah, there we go. Control left click, then turns that into a chunk loaded. Um, uh, chunk. Yeah, you can chunk load it that way, and um, you can. 
can then unclaim, claim and unclaim the same way. So that keeps this area loaded without us actually having to craft a chunk loader, which um, yeah, a little bit cheaty, but um, yeah, it's there. I can use it. Why not? Same as the teleporting back and forth. We could stand here and away from keyboard. Uh, I could leave it all night and then record this tomorrow. Or I could do that and we can do some more productive things at the same time. The same as we can just use our jetpack and hang glider to go back and forth. It just saves us a little bit of time when it's something that we would be able to do anyway. Kinda. So we are getting lots of nice stuff here. Let us take this limestone, put that into one of these because that's going to be something that needs to be got rid of at some point. We we're going to do granite and diorite as well. It's not really necessary at this stage of the game and we're getting iron copper ore already and it's only just down at that level. Obviously we're about to get some appetite as well. Um, and there's some dirt and things. Excellent. Very pleased. Superb. Okay then, after a not insubstantial mining trip, as you can see by the state of my hammer, I have netted myself two shiny metal. Two whole shiny metal. Um, so, we can do... Uh, we'll need some more silver and tin, tin, where is the tin, there we go, we can do that, now we'll need to pulverize that as well, and I've just noticed that my capacitor is discharged, so I need my culinary generator to sort that out, we go over here, and down in the bottom of here, we've got an abundance of stuff. That needs sugar. I'll need to get sugar on my way past the next time. But we'll just grab a stack of cake. How about that? Yeah. So that's what we'll need to get going over at the base to keep us supplied should really put a hopper on top of there and we could put a bunch more stuff in. That would probably be a good idea. We'll get these to silver. I'll need some more liquid indirium. But if we do that, silver shiny. Get four like that. Let's go with four of these. I'm doing reasonably well bearing in mind my only source of um, of ender pearls is actually the few ender lily plants that we've got kicking around. There's been one or two endermen that I've managed to nab an ender pearl off but uh, not very many to say the least. So, ooh, that was weird. So we'll be doing not too badly. So this has got eight enderium. Eat indirium does not get us an awful lot. We could do a hammer, but that hammer's okay at the moment. We could do a stone excavator, but that's not... What do we really want to go with? An indirium flux infused one would be really nice, though. But I'm wondering if that's the best use of our resources for us at the moment. What do we really want to be going towards? Maybe a better jetpack? Should we have a look and see what that one would get us? In fact, I know what I want, because I want to be getting towards the jet plate, which will be this here. Now, that requires a lot of stuff. We need a flux-infused jet... flux-infused chest plate, and then we need these things. It's not too bad. Mm, we need a fair bit of this flux and fuse electrum, but that's not too bad. A resonant jetpack. So we need to get up to the resonant jetpack before we do 
anything else, really. So let's have a look. We've got the hard... No, we've got the leadstone one, so we need the hardened one. Hardened jetpack needs a reactant dynamo. We need uranium. Uranium-238. Right, okay. That's what we need. How do we get it? From depleted uranium. I think, however, I may have a cheaty McCheaterson way of doing this. Um, if we take this and we go over here. Now this has put everything out. That's good. Let's have a look and see what we can get from doing this. Is that going to melt down? No, it is not. That has been fixed. Okay, so uses of uranium ore. We can... We can... Ah, with pyrithium dust we can do it. Yeah, let's see. Or compressor. We can pulverize it into two, and then the uses of that... Um, let's go back. The uses of that... Right, I'm back after a little bit of a crash there. Something didn't like something. Um, not a huge problem. Anyway, I was having a look at the things I could do with this. And I can pulverize it. And I can pulverize it and get the uranium dust, which is good. And then this will smelt down. Um, and I'm going to wait until I've got a little bit more of it. Um, eight, yeah, this will make 10, which I can then make into ingots and I can make into a block. If I put it in, oh, I got rid of. It got rid of block. Oh, this is just being weird now. Okay. Weird. Back working again then. So if I do that and that. There we go. This will be fine. And we've got our uranium like that. Let's go back over here. And, despite the fact I'm carrying around blocks of uranium... Oh, that cannot be done into that. Okay, then let's have a look at uses of that. Right, we're back. We've had another crash. Do not start looking at the recipes and the uses for uranium ingots from advanced solar panels. That caused me to crash the desktop twice. And um, it's ostensible because I'm attempting to be a Cheaty, cheaty McCheaterson. Um, what I was attempting to do was use the smeltery to melt down our uranium and make it into a block of uranium, which we could then turn back into the uranium from Industrial Craft 2. However, that does not appear to work, so we're kind of stuck with some 10 ingots of uranium from the uh, Industrial um, from the solar panels mod, so that's a little bit of a, a shame, and it also means that we're down to only three uranium ore. But there's plenty more down in the the mine, obviously. I just haven't bothered getting any. No, actually, things are being a little bit laggy. I suspect because of my two little brushes with. Uh, the uh, there we go uh, brushes with the um, crashing and I've also my computer is also doing other things in the background so I think that might be some of it now we still want that jetpack don't we jetpack so we do need to get hold of no not that 
uranium-238, which means then that we need to be doing a thermal centrifuge in a little bit. Yeah, and what we would really like to do is get hold of single ones that would do fuel rods. Yeah, because that's just that, and there isn't anything else really that we can use. Yeah. Okay. So that means we need to start looking at reactors. And that in particular. So we need, what's that? One nuclear reactor. And we need reactor chambers. So so we need dense lead plates, which let me, yeah, I figured it would be that. Advanced circuit, doable, not brilliant, but doable. Um, generator, no bother, yeah, we can do that. And then three of these reactor chambers. So we need three iron chipsets, four redstone chipsets, and then a further two, four. So we need eight redstone chipsets and two iron ones. Yep. Yeah. Two iron ones. Iron, please. Let's get this on the go, and I shall see what I can get going. Let's do that and go boop, boop, and go boop. Like that. I'll do those up reasonably quickly I should hope. Yep, everything's going nicely there. That's going to cook up and I shall do some background reading on nuclear reactors in industrial craft because I have never done that before. <laughs> yeah, I think I might want to be doing this well away from anything else. I have just the place for it. Hurrah! Okay, folks, we're back just for a moment because uh, because Rupnerd has just come back onto the uh, the server and he's been away for a little while, so um, he's discovered a bit of an infestation. <laughs> yeah, um, there was quite a lot of eggs just kicking about doing nothing, and um, yeah, I, I filled his house with chickens. And one of them, one of them's got a troll face hat on. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I couldn't have scripted it better. Oh, dear. Right, back in a bit. Okay, folks, I've decided that we will not do anything with a nuclear reactor until we're properly getting ourselves established over into the new base. Um, there's little point in trying to build anything here and traveling back and forth at the moment. I've got other stuff I'm doing. However, frame rate aside down here, um, I have just been over at what will be the new base and I've uh, picked up a bunch of the cobblestone there and I'm making it into the seared stone and the smeltery. So uh, this is happily making us a lot of the stuff that we're going to be using and it's just automatically happening um, all nicely there. So that's great happy with that just now so what i was going to do uh, i think where did i have it nope i'm trying to think what i did did i already pick it up i had something that i was going to be working on as a nice little quality of life thing for us and yes we've got the blaze powder here from the cinder pearls that we've been growing and that makes us a bunch more pyrithium dust and then I've made some fluxed electrum blend, which is just this electrum um, put through the pulverizer so we get the electrum dust and then put into the fluid transposer with two bits of melted down redstone for each bit of electrum. And then you get this fluxed electrum blend. These flux crystals I've got a diamond again with two melted down redstone in the fluid transposer. So, what are we going to be making? Well, we're going to be making some long fall boots. These things require these flux 
fluxed boots that we've got here, which needs this fluxed armor plating, which as you can see is fluxed electrum plus these crystals that we've got. Excellent, sounds good. So we've got the eight crystals and we should have sufficient. I'm running out of power. Ah, I know why I'm running out of power, because I was charging this up. Oh, wow. And I think I'm probably, yes, out of cake. So let's go and get some cake. So these long fall boots that I'm making, if you're not particularly familiar with them, are from the Portal Gun mod. And if you've ever played Portal, you'll be aware that you can fall as much as you, as far as you like, and it makes no difference. You're not going to take any fall damage. There we go. We'll take that. May as well put the uh, five stacks into our hopper. So the long fall boots will mean that we can be going around in our jetpack and fall as far as we like and we won't take any damage because we've done that a few times, taken some damage and I would prefer not to have it happen again. The more astute of you will have noticed that my levels have gone down considerably since the last time I was speaking to you and that is because um, I died. Really? Uh, yeah, I... Um, got, I took on an Enderman when it was foolish to do so. So that's what happened there. And the other bit of these longfall boots is the nano suit boots, which we need an energy crystal, which is another diamond, um, which we need well, four diamonds, actually. Four diamonds um, macerated down with five redstone makes nine energy and dust, and then you take the nine energy and dust and compress it, and it makes the crystal like that. The carbon plate's relatively simple. We need this carbon fiber, so four pulverized coal. I think it has to be coal. It can't be charcoal. Yeah, I'm not seeing charcoal there. So four coal gives us a carbon fiber mesh there. And sorry, for carbon fiber and then two of those. So you need eight to give us the carbon mesh. Um, so we need 8, 16, 32. 32 coal, which I do not actually have at the moment. So, I think uh, I've got my, that on me. Let's pop over to the new base and see... Oh, I should maybe have waited until it was... Oh, righty-ho. See, this is why I have built uh, a little moat around this. Because... I had a creeper go off next to all this stuff, and I wasn't best impressed, it must be said. Um, so, let's go and see. Have we got any coal in here? Ye no, we've got charcoal in there, because that's what I fed it with the first time. Um, let's quickly sleep. Ah, Good job I had my jetpack on me. That could have been catastrophic just everybody just go away right maybe I should have made a wall as well as a moat ha ha right let's see if there's any coal down here yes there is and a zombie having a bad day bye bye right let's actually let's see what's in the miner he's got nearly a stack of coal on him, so he's going to grab some of this. I'm going to grab some of it before he does. Right. And then I'm going to grab some of this out of the wall, so we've got 32. How about I get um, a decent amount of coal, and then we come back when I'm ready to craft the carbon fibre stuff. Okay, I'm back, and I've got sufficient raw carbon fibre. I'd actually forgotten that I had sufficient... Uh, pulverized coal in here and I actually had exactly enough to be able to make these that, oh no, no I didn't have exactly enough alright, I take it all back mistakes were made and let's pop that into there, in the meantime though we can start compressing these ones get a head start on that and we need four diamonds and five redstone Perhaps Oh, wow, four diamonds and the redstone that we need. And that with two like that. 
like that, and that gives us sufficient. I'll leave the other ones going because I will use them at some point. And I need the macerator now to do these four crystals up are um oh what am I doing? It's up there, that's that one I did. Fluxed Electrum six of I don't know if I actually need that other one. Let's have a look. So I need four of these, so I need I need four five five for each side. I, don't know, I might Yeah, I think I need that other one at least, maybe more. Let's do let's not do it in here. Let's do it in this one so we can lay things out nicely. Let's go that that like that with that in the middle and then one of each of those so we can go one like that two like that three like that yeah we need one more so we need one more pyrith we need one more flux light and blend it's not the pyrithium dust that was the issue. It was the fluxed electron blend because if you see the pyrithium dust will do two at a time but because it's only got one it's not going to do it. That's fine. Don't have a problem with it not wasting a pyrithium dust. So one electron blend like that. We'll do two into there and the electron blend into there. And quick as a flash, flux electron blend. Bo Bosh. Pop it, pop it into there, and we should be golden. Excellent. So, the quicker I can do away with these doors, the better. So, we actually end up with a little bit extra, but it couldn't be helped. Maybe it could have been. Maybe I'm an idiot. Well, I don't think there's going to be much in the way of uh, arguments there. And the macerator should be done as well. Yep. Let's quickly go... So one, two, three, and four diamonds like that with our energy and dust. Compress that down like that. Get that done, and then with our carbon plates, why have I got eight carbon plates? Oh my word. One of these days. Ugh. Right. Oh well, we've got some extra. So, we've got nano suit boots and flux infused boots. Then we need these long fall boots, which are iron, obsidian, and diamonds. And guess what I don't have any of. Right. And let's check over at new house and see if our trusty little helper has found us any diamonds. I hope so. Otherwise, oh, oh dear. Okay. Right. I timed that well. Right, let's go down. I've done a little exploration down here. Let's do some manual mining and see if we can't find some diamonds. Just back from my mining trip, I've got some diamonds. I'm just getting some extra iron here because we were running a little bit low on ingots. Plenty of ore, just haven't processed it yet. Um, so if we go like that and like that, and then a little spot of obsidian like that, put our diamonds there, 
we've got long fall boots. Put two of them like that with the flux infused boots and the nano suit boots and we have long fall boots. And we can get rid of these ones and put these ones on. And let's go up a bit and hurrah! We have indestructible feet. Let's go. There we go. Excellent. That is brilliant. Very happy with that. And I think that takes us up to a decent wrapping up point. Okay then people, thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe and check out the other seasoned gamers and I shall see you next time. Have a funs. Bye bye.